Hello literature lovers someone once said footsteps are the wonders of staying alive to move forward episode 3 will shed light on tracing the footsteps of african literature from pre to post colonial period and forging a way forward into the enough is enough reality on africa's colonial mindset and its aftermath that is highly pronounced in many african literature materials Let us put all this aside. I will discuss later in the next full episode. For this short clip, I intend to make references to newly released African books that highlight on talks of 21st century Africa in discussing topical concerns on questions of our age, letter selling. The first concern is rekindling the boy child conversation in Africa or should I say redefining the boy child in today's Africa. This is a call to male African writers. The second concern is rebuilding inspirational real life examples of living a true liberated life from controversial topics of sexuality to spirituality. An example of the text on sexuality is the book The Sex Lives of African Women by Nana Dakoa, a Ghanaian writer and a co-founder of the blog Adventures from the Bedrooms of African Women. It's a book that generally talks about the women's quest for freedom and identity. An example of the text on spirituality is Bamboozled by Jesus, How God Tricked Me into the Life of My Dreams. It is a book by a Nigerian American actress known as Yvonne Oji who literally yet wittfully interprets bible stories to fit into our current times but with a deeper message on having faith in God. The third concern is readdressing the untalked and touched queer community in today's Africa. An example of the text is The Hairdresser of Harare by Tendai Hochu. It is a book that tells a story of contemporary Zimbabwe and explores a male girl character named Dumisani who strives to fit into his bigoted society. Another example is the anthology of queer art from the Brittle Paper website that voices out the cries of queer individuals that we live with in our very own societies. The fourth concern is revamping the pathways to socio-economic freedom and independence of African youth from a global outlook. Example of the text is Disruption: Short Fiction from Africa. It is a collection of short stories by 21 authors from Africa who are exploring what it means to live in an ever-changing global conditions. My fifth concern and the last one is restructuring Africa and the concept of self. That is self-love, self-acceptance, self-identity, self-quest and the list continues. An example of the text is a memoir Aftershocks by Nadia Ohusu. It is a memoir that explores the assessment of selfhood and why it really matters. That's all I have for you today. Kindly subscribe and share this podcast with your family and friends. Thank you and see you next Saturday.